everybody. I think it's day 14 today. Mm -hmm. right? So it's week number three, heading into week number three. And um, I was much better this week now that that chocolate cake's gone. Did you all see that I showed you the chocolate cake on my Facebook page? Did you see that? Yeah. It's good, it's gone. <laughs> I'm so glad it's gone because now I feel like I can resist. So you, we were just talking about that, and we, what was your health tip, the, the food, food thing that we were just saying? For this week? Yeah. Uh, this week is... You're going to love this. Yeah, no, this week is about uh, no sugars. Not no sugars, uh, sugars you don't need. So yeah. we know there's still people online having a chocolate bar here or there yes. or having those cravings. You know who you are. So replace it, even if you replace that with fruit, it's yeah. not ideal, but still it's a step back from soft drink, right. chocolate bar. Basically, if you have a soft drink or chocolate bar, that's an extra session you need to do just to break even. So, if you want to do an extra 10 sessions a week, go for your life, but um, you're not getting any. That's exactly right. And so, Simple. the other thing is, some of, some of the people have actually been really good, contrary to what I've done for that first couple of days. And so, a, a couple of them have now got some sore throats and things like that, which we talked about in the first Absolutely. challenge. So, so yeah, about that. Yeah, week three. Um, we, we mentioned in the last challenge particularly yeah. that once you start getting into a regime, your body starts going to rejection. Things are happening, you're getting healthier, and you start to get sort of tickles Clear. in the throat, feeling sick, <laughs> feeling a little bit dizzy, all that sort of stuff yeah. that you shouldn't be. So the key is still drink your water, because we yeah. did last week. Um, and this week we're going to focus on sleep. Now, for it, sleep actually helps with weight loss, resting your body, letting it recharge, getting more out of your sessions. Yeah. It's really important. So we're going to try for the eight hours a night's sleep. And now, that might sound really easy, but actually having to plan to get to sleep, and it's a discipline, the same as your training, yeah. it's quite difficult. So, and you do feel fantastic doing Absolutely. that. You really you feel like you're on a holiday, don't you? Absolutely. I mean, it's eight hours. It's yeah. Cool. And you know, just take those TV shows that are on that you wanted to start for. Absolutely, that's it. We're in a modern world now. Absolutely, don't lose the hours when you're I'm going to bed, but then you're awake for an hour and a half. Yeah. With your brain active. Try and really calm it down. Get to bed. Yeah. Sleep for eight hours, not sit in bed for six. And you know, sorry. Exactly. Sit for two, sleep for six. Yeah. So I was actually talking to another guy online who is you know like super duper fit and you know like eight percent body fat, like super duper. And um, we were sort of having this thing about how. Um, it's, it's, he's saying like it's really hard work, which we all know it's hard work to get fit and all that sort of stuff. But for people who've never exercised before, you know, any any new step is a new step, isn't it? And any Absolutely. any food that you can eliminate at first is great. And and uh, it's actually really amazing because I don't think I told you this yet, but after having that conversation with him, like within five minutes of me sort of saying, but you know, some people need you know to just start. I got this letter from this guy who's lost sixty pounds. Wow. From watching the videos. Wow. Isn't that great? Well done. It's just that little <laughs> bit of bullpen and, and it's just brilliant. all of us talking together and all that sort of stuff. And anyone in Melbourne, come and do some boxing with me. We've got quite a few people doing that. I love yes, it when yes, I come, get to come meet them. Yeah, come to the gym. Because <laughs> it's really fun, but I love meeting them. Like we had Jen Absolutely. here today. Jen wouldn't go on video because she said she looked too red faced. So, Jen, now I'm saying that, yes. <laughs> but Jen has decided to. Um, we both want to be 61 kilos. I haven't been that for a while. I didn't even get to that for the first challenge. So I've got to lose another three kilos, but I think I can do that. Absolutely, absolutely. And remember what we say, it's not the kilos, but rather where you're at in terms of yeah. body uh, composition. So exactly. muscle, always more than fat, remember, Megan? Right, yes. <laughs> so see you next week, everyone. Keep good and stuff the choppies. Okay. Part of my real age body age test that I had to do was doing a wall sit. Now I want you at home to do this right now and then at the end of the 100 day fitness challenge you can do it again and see how much your leg strength has improved. She's bossy, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this is really important for as you get older. So this is what it is, right? And your hands are not allowed to be here, your hands have to be by your side because otherwise you'll hang on to something like that. So you're at right angles to the wall? Yeah. Okay. That's easy. And, okay, there's one more thing I want you to do. I want you to do, see how many crunches you can do in a minute. This is what I want you to do. Like this. Like that. How many of those can you do in a minute? I'm not telling you how long I can do either one for until next week. Put all your answers underneath because I'm dying to know.